Hello boys and girls, in today's topic lesson we're going to be making our very own Tudor house, just like this one. Now you can print off the plan and make a Tudor house with me, or if you can't print off the plan and the net, then you can make a Tudor house out of anything you want. It could be Lego, it could be recycled materials, and it, or it could just be some paper. So you can either follow this video and make a Tudor house with Miss Ford, or make your own Tudor house and send it to us so we can see what it's like. So for today's activity, if you're making a Tudor house with me, you're going to need your piece of paper with your Tudor house net on it like this. Yours might be a little bit smaller than mine if you printed it off, but if not, if you can't print it off, then draw one out or, like I said, make one from some, some recycled materials. Okay. So you've got your net like this to make your Tudor house. You need to cut it out neatly all the way around the edge. But whatever you do, don't cut the flaps off. We always have to remember that at school. So cut it out carefully. There we go. Now, Miss Ford has got her net of her Tudor house. If she put her Tudor house together like this, it might look a little bit boring. So she's going to try and remember some of the key parts of a Tudor house. Now, it had beams. So she's going to use her ruler to draw some beams on, some tar beams. Now, I'm just gonna do a few to show you, but obviously you can spend much, much longer on this. Miss Ford. So I'm going to draw on some beams. Now to help you, you might want to get up a picture of a Tudor house. That might help you a little bit more if you need that. So I'm going to draw on some beams. Oh, I'm going to colour them in with my best neat colouring. I'm using a ruler to make sure my beams are nice and straight. So you might colour in your beams a dark colour because remember they were covered in black tar to stop the wood from rotting. We learned about that last week when we were learning all about the Tudor houses. So I'm going to add my beams on here and then my best neat colour in. Now the section that's labelled seven up here and also this section over here, they are um, the roof parts. So you might want to um, draw some straw on your roof. Obviously you'll be much, much neater than Miss Ford. She's just going as quick as she can to show you. So you might draw some more straw or thatch, it was called, wasn't it? And it was very, very dry summer. And that's why the fire spread so much bit of brown in there as well for the straw thatch. Okay. Now I'm going to come to the front part of my house. So section where the four and five flaps are, this is going to be the front of my house. And remember this part sticking out, that was called the jetty. So the bottom of the house was lower than the rest of the house. So this is the bottom part of my house. And that's where Miss Ford is going to draw her front door for her family to go in. She's gonna draw her front door. Remember, this would have been made out of wood in those times. That's why my draw door is going to be blue, uh, to be brown, it's made out of wood. And then I might want some more beams on the front of my house, my Tudor house. Now, can anybody remember what the windows had to be like in 1666? Have a little think while Miss Ford is drawing the beams. Because I'm going to want some windows on the front of my house so we can see out. You can see that fire burning in the city. I'm being really careful with my ruler and my best neat colouring. And then another little bit. Oh, Miss Ford's washing machine is playing a little tune in the background. And then I'm going to go across here. 
really carefully. Now this section is going to be my windows, but can anybody remember about my windows? That's right, they need to be tiny little panes because glass was so, so expensive in 1666. So I'm going to draw on my tiny little panes. They're all tiny little bits of glass. And when we did our sketching work, we had a go at practicing drawing panes of glass like this. So you're going to carry on and complete your Tudor house. You would add some beams to the back of the house and some beams to the side of the house. And don't forget these two parts are your roof. So now you're going to go and have a go at decorating your house. Miss Ford is going to swap this for one that she completed earlier. Here is the one she completed earlier. It's got all the beams on. It's got the nice thatch roof. It's got my window panes at the front of the house, my door and some more window panes down here. So now we're going to have to follow the steps to build the house because at the moment it's a flat net and we want it to be a 3D shape. So all of these numbers are to help us. But before we can stick them together, we need to do some super folding. So we're going to turn this over and we're going to fold along the lines. And I like to push down with my fingers to make sure it's nice and flat. You might need a grown up helper with this, but if you go nice and steady and be really careful, have a little look where it is. You might want to turn this way as well just to help you, but you want to fold it inwards so that the colour is on the outside. There we go, there's one of my flaps that we must remember not to chop off. Goodness me, that happens a lot in the classroom. And then fold this side, oh, it's the front of the house, making sure those creases are nice and strong. The more you push down and hold onto the creases, the easier it will be to pop your house together. So fold along all the creases. Let me just check, oh, I haven't folded along this bit of the roof. There we go, fold it inwards, press it down, and then we've got two flaps here to press inwards and this one also. Oh, I needed to make a nice little snip there. Remember where your jetty is there, make sure that's snipped before you fold or you might, might end up with a little rip like me. That's better. So now we're going to follow the numbers. Can you see it's all kind of fitting together quite nicely. You just need to make sure, oh, I missed number three and number six. You be careful guys. There we go. So it all would fold together quite nicely, but yours will have your own beautiful design on. And I'm going to get a glue stick and just run along the tabs. Now I'm going to start with tab one and tab two, first and second. And because I've done all my folding so neatly, it should just come together. And my front door is going to sit there and then my tab two is going to stick out a little bit further. Now, what you want to do is just press and hold. That's it. Give it a little squeeze. I'll just show you, see if Miss Ford can just show you inside there. You might just want to press that down a minute. And then make sure number one is nice and attached because the jetty bit sticks out slightly. Give a little squeeze. These two bits underneath, they're just to help your house stand up after you've built it. Then we're going to go to the roof section and we're going to find tab number three. Oh dear, it's a bit fiddly. You have to be very careful. Tab number three, glue and hold. Tab number four, glue and hold. Oh, one side of my thatch roof is on already. Tab 
tab number five. You might want to put the glue on this last little bit, five, six, and seven. And then, oh, it's a jumpy one, the one Miss Ford's got. And then you might want to put your hand underneath just to help you guide it. So I'm going to put it all in the right place and then I'm going to put my hand through just to squeeze it all down because it is a very fiddly job. You might just want to push down a little bit there. And there we have our Tudor house. Hopefully yours will stand up like mine. You might just want to leave it to dry before you mess around with so it. boys and girls, Miss Ford has her, turned her net into her very own Tudor house. Now remember, you can make yours whichever design you like because you will be drawing all your lovely window panes on your thatch roof and your beams and your door. So yours might look a little bit different than mine. Probably even better. We can't wait to see them. I want, I want you to send some pictures in of your Tudor houses. Now remember, if you can't print the net out or make it, then you can use anything you want to make me a Tudor house. You could use Lego, you could use recycled materials, you could use paper, give it your best go. And we can't wait to see your lovely Tudor houses. You could maybe even make more than one and make your own city of London. Remember, the houses stay really close together. Can't wait to see what you get up to, boys and girls. See you soon.